everybody, it's Titanic Feet Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If this is your first time here and you like what you're seeing and want to sub up to the channel, feel free and I greatly appreciate that. Also, I need a favor, hit that like button and drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on today's video. Today we're looking at an early sneaker. Uh, I'm not sure what the release date is, but uh, it's really a nice sneaker and I'm kind of jealous because uh, I wish it came out in my uh, side, but it didn't. But before we get into that, just want to share something with you guys real quick. If you guys are uh, popping up in your uh, local Hibbit stores, go ahead and check them out. You may find a surprise there. I found these yesterday when I went uh, in my local Hibbit store. I have a Hibbit store that's like two minutes from my house, literally. And if you're watching this video, I picked this up a couple days before the Air Jordan Fire Red 3 release. So there you go if you're trying to figure out what day it was. These come in a regular Nike box and you got the white paper and here we go. The UCLA nike dunks there you go just sitting there so i hit up the homies there y'all go nike dunk uclas let me know what y'all think about them they call them uclas but people in baton rouge louisiana might beg to differ you could see this the southern jaguars they are about to play lsu tigers in death valley on tomorrow but by the time this video comes out the game will be have taken place so go Jags now the shoe that we are looking at today you see the box a red and black Nike box Jordan 1 box and when you see the inverse the majority of the time you saw women Jordan 1 I recall one time where we had this box and it was actually a mint sneaker I believe it was the Georgetown 1 high fives but you see that box and you see that box label. There you go. You see that other label. I won the raffle on In Clothing. Shout out to In Clothing. Got these in. And like I said, they haven't released these yet in the U.S. But that date is approaching. I'm going to read that box label to you. It says Women's Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Color white. Border blue. This is a women's size 8.5. Here we go. You can see that lot stamp right there in the top of the box. And you see that paper. You got gold rope chains and earrings and stuff on here. This is uh, taking it back to the 80s and 90s, back in the salt and pepper and JJ fad days. And you also have your, your dingy looking tissue paper right here. Let's look in the box, see, do we have a YDM sticker? Yes, we actually do. YDM sticker right here. Let's look at the sneakers. Here we go, guys. We have the Women's Air Jordan Retro 1. They call them the Heritage, but these are the denim ones to me. And from the first look, I really like them. I'm digging them. The materials on here are A1. Shout out to Jasmine Jordan. If y'all don't know who that is, I've been under a rock. That's Michael Jordan's daughter. She has a position within the company doing with the uh, the women sneakers. She's dealing with that. And she's doing an outstanding job. So shout out to her. But this sneaker is on an all white base. And when I say all white base, in this case, it's very quality and material wise. We're going to start with the quarter panel. It is very soft right here, soft to the touch leather. And your uh, heel over these, your heel, and your uh, mud guard, and your over these, going down your uh, lace eyelets. You have this cut up denim material, and it's very. It brings me back to the 80s and 90s when salt and pepper and all of them was doing their thing. When they wore the full body suits that was made of spandex material and they had these big ass earrings in their ear right here. This would this symbolizes the big gold hoop earrings that they wore in their ears. But down here in Louisiana, we did it a little different. 
our ladies down here wore these earrings and they got their name, you know, they got them custom made at Mr. Goldman. If y'all been in the New Orleans area, y'all know who Mr. Goldman is. You got your Wings logo right here in white and it's stitched on top of right here. Your swoosh is on here as well. All that's in the denim material. It does come with a hang tag. You have a denim hang tag with Nike Air in red. And you have gold chain that's what it's hanging on. Your midsole, your midsole is made of a rubber, so this top of the sneaker it rests on a rubber cup sole, which is white, and you got the you have the blue at the bottom, which leads to the outsole, all blue outsole. There we go. Looking at the back of the sneaker, you got some nice, very soft leather going around the ankle and come around to your medial side you have more uh, of that good leather on your overlays your heel overlays and going around your mud guard and your swoosh as well and y'all I'm not sure y'all can see this but look it even wrinkles up a little right here on your quarter panel how soft that leather is and also you got some white on your midsole with the blue as well Let's go ahead and take the cardboard shoe tree out. Here you go, cardboard shoe tree, size 7, 7.5. You got the Jordan Jumpman logo on top. And we are going to look at the inside. You can see that printed on here. It says die cut sock liner. And I took the uh, cardboard shoe tree out to show you guys the toe box. Look how soft this is. I think the last Jordan one I touched with leather this soft was the uh, the taxi Jordan ones or the yellow toes. I have a review on that. You can check that out once you uh, finish watching this review. And we went over the gold hoop already. You have a Jordan Jumpman logo on this gold hoop. And on the left sneaker, you, the gold hoop, it actually says Jordan comes with two sets of laces you got the uh, flat white laces that comes with the sneaker and you can see on the left sneaker you have red and it's in the Jordan bag so there y'all go this is how the lace is supposed to come when you have an authentic pair looking at the tongue you have a denim tongue and you have a white woven patch with Nike Air branding on it and the blue. The blue matches the outsole. The inside of the tongue is white. And we're gonna look at that sock liner. You have a white sock liner. So ladies, when you wear these shoes, all the guys that was able to squeeze in these, I think they gonna stop at a min 10 and a half. So if your foot is that small, you can get these. And you have a, a red insert with uh the nike air branding and gold so basically the colors of this sneaker with denim red and gold and let's see can i get a look at that uh size and tag for you guys there you go size eight and a half production date november the third of last year to january i'm sorry i said january that's a three has March the 1st of this year so about about three to four months of production with these so let me know what y'all think of these Air Jordan Retro Ones Heritage that's what they are listed as on the sneakers app you can find that on your sneakers app right now if you go to upcoming sneakers they are on your sneakers app they are releasing on your sneakers app and I'm not sure what other uh like Foot Lock, I'm not sure if they're releasing their, releasing their pairs yet or even if they have pairs, but I know the boutiques are going to uh, have these as well. So let me know your thoughts and comments on this sneaker in the comment section. And I'm going to end the video like I always do. Like I always tell you, if you help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know. When it will be your turn to need help getting a sneaker. Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.